hydrocarbon chains. Those are called unsaturated hydrocarbon chains. Then you take up more space and the membrane becomes more fluid because the phospholipids can't pack as closely together. So I um, have a demonstration that I've made. Uh, I, Dr. Warrior and I have, over the last three years, developed a series of demonstrations that we do in the class. And we're always modifying them and trying to come up with new ones. And mine are called garage demos because they're made from mostly things that come out of my garage. And this one is to illustrate the effects of saturated versus unsaturated phospholipids on the fluidity of a membrane. So I need two volunteers to come up because I need somebody to hold things. Yes, you and you, please. And your name is? Angela. Angela is going to hold this side and so hold this side of the paper and the wire. And you are? <coughs> Joseph is going to hold this side of the paper and that wire. OK, so what I have made for you here are three phospholipids. Um, these are the hydrophilic or phobic heads. Hydrophilic heads, exactly. And these are the hydrophobic hydrocarbon chains, tails, exactly. OK, so now if we have, I just looking at one segment, when we have two carbons that are connected by a single bond, then you get a straight um, segment. However, and this is called saturated, if you have an unsaturated, bond, oh, I didn't show you guys. Um, so you have a double bond between two. Then you get a kink in the molecule, and it takes up more space. So what is the effect on fluidity? Here, all of our hydrocarbon tails are straight, so they're all saturated. And so the heads of the phospholipids are very close together. So are the tails. So it makes actually a relatively rigid structure. However, if I make a double bond, say there's a double bond here between this a carbon here and carbon there. It causes a kink and in fact makes these spread out. So not only is there more space between the molecules down here, but there's more space between the head regions. And this is a more fluid structure because it's not as rigidly packed together. Okay? So thank you very much to Joseph and Angela. Very good.